In this quick video, I wanted to give you a simple mantra that you can use for your manifestation. And this is the only belief that you need to manifest whatever you want in your life, okay? It's very, very simple, but just hear me out and how to exactly use it and how you can use this to counteract any negative beliefs that you might have that you think are holding you back from getting whatever you desire. If you're interested in learning about that, stay tuned and let's get started. Welcome back to this video. My name is Rav and I help people with their manifestations as well as spiritual growth. And if you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me to dispel all of your negative limiting beliefs, the link is down in the description box below so we can get started to get you closer to what you desire and actually have that manifestation come to life. So I wanted to give you a very simple mantra in this video that if you can actually grasp the concept behind this and how to use it, it's gonna make you a powerful master manifester. So what is this mantra? It's basically, I can get what I want, or if you can use this in another way, I can be what I want, or I can have what I want. So you're basically claiming the object of your desire, whether it be money, house, a specific person, any kinds of relationship for yourself. When you say, I can get what I want, because you're claiming it for yourself. I hope that makes sense. So how to exactly use this? This is where the key is, you know, where if you actually understand how to use it, it's gonna make you a lot more sense. In myself, I've done this too, and also in a lot of people who are trying to manifest because I've been talking to a lot of people in the manifesting community right now. A lot of their limiting beliefs are piling up against one another and they're just making themselves believe that I can't get what I, what I want. I can't have what I want. I can't be what I want, right? But the only difference between the people who can manifest and who can't manifest is whether you believe you can or you can't because they're both right. I think there's a saying on that, right? <laughs> but, but what I'm trying to say is sometimes what they make themselves believe is, okay, I'm unworthy of love because of all these different reasons. I'm unworthy of love because of my looks, my personality, and because I don't know how to interact with people or all that kind of stuff, right? It could be used for any other kinds of manifestations that you have, but I'm just using love right now. What they tend to do is, because I have this limiting belief, I'm unworthy. And because I'm unworthy, I can't have what I want, right? In the beginning, how you can use this mantra is, even though I feel like I'm unworthy of love, I can still have what I want. I can still get what I want. The way this can be used is in different forms, whether it be like specific or general, right? When you say you can't get, you can't have anything, it's more general, right? You can have anything I want. Even though I feel I'm unworthy of love, I can have what I want. That's being more general, right? You can even make it more specific, right? If it's for, even though, I feel like I'm unworthy of love because of my looks or whatever insecurities you may have. I can still get this specific person or I can still be in a relationship with them. What you can do is look at all of your insecurities, whether it be related to your worthiness or any kinds of sense of self. And you can just add this belief or this mantra on top of it and just claim it for yourself. And there's also a way to check it. I'm going to disclose that here in a second, how you can check it to actually know if it's working or not. Now, another way you can actually use this mantra is not just to counteract limiting beliefs, but also to counteract circumstances in your life. For example, let's say you're trying to make a business deal and you forget an appointment, right? Your normal tendency is to beat yourself up and do all that kind of stuff, right? It, it, let's make it even worse if you think uh, like the person try, you're trying to manifest just rejects you completely. They can't be with you. They don't want to see your face again. Just get away from my life. Get lost. You can still use this mantra to still counteract these circumstances too. It's very powerful that way. For example, you could use it in this particular situation as even though you know I missed this appointment, I can still get what I want. Even though my person told me they don't want to ever see me again, I can still get them or I can still get what I want, right? So that is the way you actually work through these beliefs. Now let's go about how we can actually check if this is actually working or not. One way, good way to look at it in your own life and to check whether this mantra is working or not is by simply trying to think of the worst case scenario. For example, that circumstances, right? Even though I missed this appointment, I can still get what I want. If you've been repeating this mantra over and over and over again in your head, and if you actually starting to grasp the reality of it, 
even though worst possible scenarios are not gonna bother you. It's just gonna make it switch to, I can do it, I can have it, I can be it. It's just gonna make you bounce off from that negative scenario or the negative stories that might be playing on your head to the positive one because you're so firm in your belief about having this desire that the worst possible scenario doesn't even scare you anymore. It doesn't even detract you from your path. And sometimes you react, that's normal. Don't get me wrong, you react, but still it's gonna be easy for you to get back on track. You know, you can react, you can feel sad, you can cry for a whole day or even a week if you want, but it's gonna get easier for you to get back into track if you already have this belief firmly inside of your mind. And it's just gonna be a part of your subconscious mind that way. So that's the way to check it. Now you can also look back into your own life situations when you have manifested something in the past without even knowing that you are a conscious manifester, right? And I've had those situations in my life too. Whenever you've thought you can have something, you've definitely gotten to this point where, with absolute certainty, right? We've gotten to that point where you've already manifested it, you know, like in the past. In the same way, there have been a lot of manifestations that I've happened in my life without me actually knowing that there were manifestations before but just because i claimed for certain things to be for myself i've been able to get it think back to your own life to actually realize that this belief has always been working in my life so you just need to claim for the desire for yourself and actually put this mantra or this belief this affirmation into implementation right so it becomes a belief that's all i wanted to actually share in this video i hope this video was of great help i intend this was of great help to you if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me the link is down in the description box below for my coaching website and just sign up the form and i'll get back to you on how we can get started for your coaching sessions so yeah with that being said i want to wish you all the very best goodbye and namaste